The youth unemployment we see in Europe uh, is perhaps one of the greatest concerns we have right now. Uh, the frustration, restlessness, despair, uh, lack of hope in the future um, are different areas that can see developments that come out of control. The chart you'll see on the wall here in a second describes the unemployment uh, levels in different parts of Europe. Here we go. In many countries of Europe, we have 20% or higher youth unemployment. Actually, in many of them, it's 30% or higher. And in some, it's approaching 50%. It's, the, the numbers are just staggering. And it's, it's, a, it's a real source of concern, as we discussed in the, uh, in the previous roundtable. Um, now, Europe's younger generation of business leaders are in many ways even more supportive of shifting power uh, towards EU institutions than their older colleagues are. And perhaps this shouldn't come as a surprise. Many of the younger generation feel let down or shortchanged uh, by their national governments. And although respondents of all ages uh, agree that the current social systems largely favor the older generations, younger respondents nevertheless are particularly supportive about delegating even more authority towards the European Union. The first thing I'd like to say around this chart is that there's hardly no difference between what the next generation of leaders suggest from the current generation of leaders. And perhaps that isn't that surprising given that what we see uh, in the sample size are business leaders and it's not the average young individual. And I think we can all speculate what these numbers would look like if we looked at the more general sample of, uh, of youth in society. Um, but in general, as you see, um, on most every count, uh, the younger generation, the next generation of leaders would support a greater shift towards the European Union. The one area that does stand out is around industrial policy, uh, where clearly uh, there's a greater hope um, amongst the next generation, uh, that the European uh, institutions, EU institutions, um, could, through different policy measures, stimulate the growth in, in various types of industries that in the end would generate more jobs. There are three other areas that stand out a bit in uh, the survey results and where the younger res respondents are more progressive than uh, their elders. The first one is that they do believe more strongly in prioritizing areas like uh, research and development, technology and innovation. So overall, the whole idea of, of innovation is one that truly appeals to them uh, as a, uh, a real difference maker for Europe going forward. The second one that comes across is that they are less supportive of free trade than their elders. And so there's more of a protectionist um, you know, perspective among some parts of um, the younger generation. And the third area is that they view sustainability as more important um, and they enthusiastically support uh, the notion of uh, low carbon policies. We also spoke a bit about educational issues before and, and here too there were uh, some, some interesting findings coming from uh, the next generation uh, of leaders. Um, it, it is not that they believe uh, in, in, in a much greater role for uh, the EU institutions than for national governments, as you can see on the chart, uh, but they, they do raise a few important points, they're, and they're rather pragmatic, frankly, in terms of uh, what they suggest. Um, th the first one is uh, they do not believe that this is about creating uh, a fewer number of stronger academic institutions. This is much more about raising the quality of the educational system in its entirety. And, and, and primarily what they're suggesting is that there are certain countries that have figured out a better cost-benefit trade-off through how the educational system is designed. Are there ways in which we can learn from others and make sure that what is working well in certain places um, also is uh, deployed in others? The other point they raises uh, they do believe in a greater synergy between 
uh, academic institutions, between corporations, um, and um, essentially the business world. Uh, and they would encourage on a national level that one finds ways of stimulating uh, this interaction. And again, we heard many comments earlier today around this theme as well. And then finally, uh, the third area that they would um, raise is um, we need to get much better at making sure that the training uh, that we get in the educational system really is targeted to the needs of the business environment. And I think, again, we heard many examples of the mismatch of um, uh, the requirements that you know, many other companies here have as well and uh, what seems to be on offer in the, in the marketplace. So um, those are the points, really, that came out of this from a youth point of view.